Meet Beth Soboloff and her partner, Debbie Thielen. Together, they run Two Grannies on the Road. It's a show where the two hope to see every city in Massachusetts. It was actually 2010, and I had been in business for myself as a web designer for like eight years already, and I uh, hadn't taken a vacation. I just started, you know, having a pity party about how I never got to travel across the country in an RV with my kids the way I wanted to. And then I was like, well, wait a second. I have a job that I could do from anywhere. And then I thought, well, I wouldn't want to do it alone. At the time, I was single. So I thought, who, I could, who, who could I drag with me? I interviewed Debbie as a business owner. And then from there, we became the two grannies, two grannies on, on the road. <laughs> We started and our decision was that we were going to interview and go to every city and town in Massachusetts and that's what we started with and so we are on number 24 or 25 so and next week we're doing Shrewsbury and then two weeks after that we'll come back and we'll do Marlboro. So we're very very excited about doing all of the shows and we have a lot of fun. We always say we're eating our way through Massachusetts. We asked the two grannies how they choose where to go next. We look at the map and we point. <laughs> Sometimes it's from people asking us to come to their town. Yes, like Marlboro. We'll go on the forum of the town itself. And on, on Facebook. On Facebook and people will actually tell us where to go and give us ideas. So we'll look up and do some research on the different places and we'll make up an itinerary and that's how we judge and that's how we go. We also wanted to know what their favorite part of the show was. Learning the history of the town, for sure. Yeah, I like, I, do, I like learning about everything about the town, even not just the history, because it's just interesting. I love to learn new things and meeting new people. That's been a lot of fun. My favorite place has been in Adams when we went to the Susan B. Anthony Museum and her house. It was absolutely fabulous. We actually got teary-eyed when we were in there because it was so emotional seeing where she was born and everything that she has done for women. Um, it was just a joy being there. Yeah, and I mean, I have to say that my favorite place in Massachusetts is Plymouth, where I live. But as far as the shows, Marion was wonderful. Um, the yacht club there took us out on um, the captain's boat for a, a race that they were doing, a sail, sailing race, and uh, they made a sign afterwards that said, two grannies on the sea. Being on the road all the time can make family living hard, but not yeah. for these grannies. They told us their family's thoughts about the show. My daughter actually called while we were on the road this morning coming up here, and she was like, you girls go. <laughs> you have a good time. <laughs> Our husbands actually come along sometimes yes. and they film for us, especially her husband will, will film for us because he's retired. Um, I have a nine-year-old granddaughter who every time she sees me, she talks about the show. And uh, I said to her, I think you're the only one in the family who actually watches my shows. And her sister said, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> For WMCT News, I'm Spencer Geary.